Good evening, Jim. The use of undercover informants is a common police technique used to bring charges against suspects not inclined to deal directly with cops. But often, the undercover agent is a shady character facing his own charges. That makes him motivated to give police what they want, whether the suspect has done something wrong or not. Donald Andrews Jr. operates a so-called smoke shop on Mohawk Avenue in Scotia. It sells incense and other smoking paraphernalia, legal stuff, but material that might also be repurposed for other illicit activities. Scotia and Schenectady County police became suspicious and targeted Andrews' shop, sending an undercover informant in twice in March. The second time, Andrews' attorney, Kevin Rebrand, does play-by-play -play that appears to show the informant planting, then photographing crack cocaine that led to Andrews' arrest. Donald turns, he comes in. <laughs> Places the crack on the counter, crack which under federal sentencing guidelines would get him four years in jail. Under New York, New York state law would get him two to seven years in jail. There are seven cameras in plain view in Andrew's small store. Here's a second clear angle. He walks in, places the crack, places the crack cocaine on the counter. Members of the Schenectady chapter of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference viewed the apparent framing of an African-American businessman and were outraged. It was a setup, and I believe that he, he was racially uh, profiled and targeted, and it would be easy for them to say that he was selling drugs because he was black. Now, neither the Schenectady County Sheriff nor the Scotia Village Police Chief were available to be interviewed about the apparent planting of evidence. By phone, the sheriff acknowledged proper procedures were not followed, but denied his investigators purposely framed the suspect. The sheriff blamed the informant who has taken flight. Andrews was arrested but released when he was able to get police to look at the multiple camera angles. He's taken the first step at filing a lawsuit and was not made available today by his attorney. Bill Lambton, News Channel 13.